Insects are amazing for most of us when they're far away. We all love to see aesthetically pleasing videos of moths, butterflies, bees, grasshoppers, and even dragonflies. However, up close, we don't really want them perching on our skin. This is because many insects have horrible bite reputations. Some bites are not so serious, and others are terribly serious and life-threatening. Here's a list of 20 most dangerous insects alive today. Number 20. Ticks Insects are known to have zero sense of privacy. They can attach themselves to anywhere they please on your skin. It could be your hair, ear, and even your armpit. This is the specialty of the tick. They're usually found in the hair, ear, or armpit of their host. Tricks attach them to humans or their pets. Typically, they look like spiders because they have eight legs and a similar body structure. However, unlike spiders, ticks have a rounder body that can swell two times its size. Swelling happens when it feeds. It will stick to its host until it's totally filled and too heavy to stick their host anymore. Then it falls off. They are initially very tiny, but grow bigger as they feed. A tick may not lay bugs inside your body, but it causes quite severe consequences. Ticks can cause at least eight severe diseases to the infected person. A tick bite looks like a tiny rash, but it's spread out into a large circle. It looks red and itches very badly. A tick bite can cause rash, fatigue, itching, fever, headaches, joint pains, and skin ulcers. These are symptoms of tick bite-induced diseases like tularemia, Lyme disease, powassan, babesiosis, anaplasmosis, ehrlichiosis, and so on. Tick bites are not life-threatening. However, if they're not treated properly, they can be found in woody areas and swamps. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Sydney Honolweb Spider when we hear something being called venomous, we always think of a snake. This spider can be found in terrestrial areas of Australia where it was discovered. Its venom can kill its victim. However, a vaccine that defeats the venom was created and recorded deaths have greatly reduced. There are over 40 species of the funnel web spider. The males are typically bigger than the females. The male funnel web spider is responsible for all the recorded deaths from the spider's venom. These spiders are from the Atrax family of species. Their venom is fast and very dangerous. It can cause the following symptoms in its victims. It can cause sweating, vomiting, headache, high blood pressure, nausea, or a tingling sensation around the lips. The symptoms can become life-threatening when there is liquid in the nostrils and the victims fall unconscious. It is best to seek immediate medical attention as soon as you suffer a funnel web spider bite. It may look like two small bites similar to a snake's bite. After some time, it'll progress into a swollen bullseye. It can be very itchy, but it's advisable that you don't scratch the affected spot at all costs. You may want to watch out for funnel web spiders in the forests. They're known to be distinguishable with their glossy dark skin and conical carapace. Their body structure is not complex like other spider families. Number 18. Southern Flannel Moths Although this insect is called southern flannel moths, it is mostly found in North America and countries in the eastern western hemisphere like Canada. They are also known as the New World Countries. Southern flannel moths are also known as crinkled flannel moths. They are very tiny things that have long fangs and a cotton hair-like disguise. They can be found in plants, bushes, and trees. especially oak and elm trees. Its scientific name is Megalopige opuculares. You would think this insect only becomes dangerous when it becomes a moth, but that's not true. Even in their caterpillar stage, the insect is very dangerous. Also called furry puss caterpillar or woolly slug, the caterpillar is an inch long and is covered in hair, sometimes woolly or curly hair. This appearance makes it look pleasing to touch, but that's what you shouldn't do. Their fur contains venomous spines. Getting stung by these spines can cause serious skin reactions. The fur is a defense mechanism used by the larvae to protect itself from touch by predators until they become moths. As moths, they're not really dangerous. It is advisable to seek immediate medical attention if you get stung by the caterpillar's spine. It can cause nausea, headache, swelling, abnormal skin marks, burning, rashes, and even abnormal pain. These symptoms can be treated with home remedies, but you should still see a doctor. Number 17. Harvester Ants 
Have you ever been to lawns and noticed brown bumps among the finely cut green grass? Those mounds are the hard work of harvester ants. They are usually a nuisance to owners of outdoor spaces because they go about building those mounds that disrupt the beauty of the lawns. They avoid indoor areas but may slip on through cracks and holes in the wall. They are mostly found in gardens because they love to eat seeds so they'd naturally situate themselves in places where they can get them. Like other ants, harvester ants sting too, but reactions it causes are different. A typical harvester ant bite will last way longer than a regular ant bite. It can cause swelling and trigger allergies that may be serious. On the land where they feast, the spot their mounds cover can become barren. Their bites are considered venomous, but that depends on the species. There are 22 species of harvester ants, but the most common ones are the black and red harvester ants. They belong to the Poganomyrmex family, which is notable for really painful things. They got the name harvester ants for their daily routine of harvesting seeds that they feast on. Number 16. Saddleback Caterpillars Here's another fetus that has a life-threatening sting. Every caterpillar has spines for defense purposes, but this caterpillar has sharp spikes that pierce the skin and cause unimaginable pain. Their natural habitat is usually on leaves. These insects have long spikes that stand out. It comes in two colors, brown and green. They have a distinctive look among caterpillars. It's got its name from the mark on its back that looks like a saddle. It looks pretty cute and comfortable to touch, but that would be the worst decision anyone could make. Their sting is so painful that it can be felt in the bones. It can cause nausea and severe allergic reactions. While the sting may not kill you, it is important to steer clear of it. Who knows what allergic reaction it will induce. They're found in gardens and are not limited to one area in the United States. Hence, you want to be on the lookout for saddleback caterpillars. They're usually bright colored and possess two heads, one in the back and one in the front. Their outstanding coloring is not for aesthetic sakes, but a means of warning and keeping off predators. Number 15. Wolf Spiders like any typical spider, the wolf spider comes in a camouflage color that helps it adapt anywhere it's staying. It is the most common type of spider in the world. You'd think that fact means that the spider is not harmful. The opposite is actually the case. The spider can grow to be two inches long wherever it is found. They frequent warm and cozy plains like the inside of a home. You can find them under leaves, grasses, rocks, and even inside logs. They don't use their web to catch prey like other spiders would. Instead, they run after their prey until they are caught. They eat worms, ants, and other insect eggs. They are known to also chase prey that are bigger than they are. Wolf spiders are large and seem dangerous, but the truth is their sting is not poisonous. The spiders are very large, so it's inevitable that their sting would hurt so much. However, it wouldn't last long. The pain subsides after some minutes, but the bite scar remains. This is where you need treatment. The bite can become infected if not taken care of properly. When a wolf spider bites you, you feel nauseous, headache, and dizzy. You may also suffer fever, having trouble breathing, and even tension. It can trigger panic attacks, but all these symptoms don't last long. They wear off as soon as the bite is detected and properly treated. It may spark allergic reactions in some people, but it's very rare. Number 14. Lice this tiny wingless insect is the most annoying pest to ever live. They're the commonest insect and found everywhere in the world. They live on their hosts and unlike ticks, they don't fall off after eating on their hosts. They stay there, breed there, and die there. Lice typically affects kids and teens, but that doesn't mean they're not found on adults. They attach themselves to the scalp of the victim and feed their blood. With kids, you may only find ticks, which is the egg of lice. With teens, you will find both the ticks and the adult lice. There are various treatments for lice. However, the best will be prescribed by your doctor. Many over-the-counter medications are available for the treatment of lice, but it is advisable that you see a doctor first. You don't know you have lice where the red spots are on your head. Your scalp will feel crusty and sore. The itchiness does not go away unlike other bites. Instead, it continues to itch you as long as the lice is there. Scratching your scalp may give you temporary relief, but it can also lead to infection. Unlike popular belief, lice infestation is not caused by bad hygiene. Lice just wants your blood, whether you clean or dirty. To ensure that the ticks go completely away, you can take them out, carefully by hand or by comb. Lice infestation is not contagious, but you want to be careful nonetheless. Number 13. Baboon Spiders this venomous large spider is found in dry areas and is found in Africa. It thrives in habitats like dry acacia, scrubland, savanna woodlands, and grasslands. They have huge fangs that deliver unimaginable pain on the victim of its sting. They are not found around the home. 
Baboon spiders as large as their name suggests. Their length is between 13 to 19 millimeters. They come in various colors like brown, black, gray, and yellow. There are 44 species of baboon spiders and 35 of them are found in the drylands of South Africa. They're nocturnal insects. They burrow into the ground during the day and only venture out in the night. They attack other insects and even some rodents like lizards and mice. They catch their prey by laying an ambush on them with their web. On humans, their venom is very dangerous. When you're bitten by a baboon spider, you'll feel extreme pain in and around this pain area. You also experience vomiting, difficulty walking, and dizziness. This is because the venom of a baboon spider contains a neurotoxin that is harmful to humans. On their prey, the venom breaks them down like a digestive juice so that the spider can eat them. Number 12. Velvet Ants Have you ever heard of a weird ant species? Ants are known to walk in their numbers. However, that's not the case with velvet ants. You won't find a large number of velvet ants in one place at a time. You'd think they won't be so much of a nuisance since they're rare, but that's far from the case. Velvet ant can inflict a very painful pain on their victims. They usually chase other insects like bees and wasps. However, if they're provoked, they can attack humans and pets. They're found in meadows and grasslands. They won't enter your home, but can infest your garden, which is close to your home. They belong more to the wasp family than ants. They are always found in really small numbers, so you might not need an insecticide to get rid of them. You can take them out manually by hand, wearing a glove of course, or you could use a broom. Despite their small size, they could be taken out because they pose a threat to you and your pet. Velvet ants are native to the southern and eastern parts of America. They're also called cow killer ants. You don't need to worry because the ants won't kill your cows. Their sting is mildly toxic. It does not possess life-threatening consequences on its victims. Instead, if you're stung by a velvet ant, you will notice a tiny red bump form in the bite area minutes later. The pain from its sting only lasts for minutes. Number 11. Red Indian Scorpions The most lethal of all insects is the scorpion. They are mostly found in India, eastern Pakistan, and eastern Nepal. They belong to the scientist family called Hodentota tamulus. Unlike what their name suggests, the scorpion is not necessarily red. In fact, it comes in various colors including blue. They are believed to have existed since 420 million years ago and they have a really long lifespan of 25 years. They are found in harsh, dry and dark environments. They don't require so much liquid in their diet. They only take the moisture they find in their foods. An Indian red scorpion will typically attack and eat any insect they find. They don't have a preference. Like every other scorpion, they sting their prey and potential predators. Even with this side of their nature, humans still keep them as pets. Their sting is extremely painful and can be venomous. However, gone are the days when people die from scorpion stings because science has helped develop an anti-venom. However, kids should be protected from the scorpion sting as they can die from it. They belong to a not-so-rare family of scorpions that glow in the night. This is a coping mechanism for them as it helps ward off predators. Their body structure allows them to trap UV light that glows in the dark. Scorpions are nocturnal insects, so they move about hunting for prey in the dark, and the Indian red scorpion is no exception to that. Number 10. The German Yellow Jacket This spider actually comes with the yellow jacket as the name suggests. They are very aggressive insects that sting repeatedly when their nest is attacked. They are mostly found in northeastern America and some countries in Europe. They belong to the Vespidae, especially the Vespula Germanica scientific family. They make their nests in old buildings. This does not mean they're not found in modern settings. They're found in urban and rural settings altogether. They make their nests in dark corners of the building and these vests are usually big. They can occupy a large amount of space over time. This is why they need to be taken out as soon as possible. They have also been proven to be resilient against insecticides, so house owners may require professional help to get rid of them. This is also necessary for the fact that they can attack you when they try to take them out alone with insecticides. Their sting is very painful and poses some health risk to the victim. Although it will not typically cause death, it can make you become unconscious. Number 9. Brown Recluse Spiders As their name suggests, these spiders are recluse. They stay away from interaction with other living things. They may be found in secluded places like attics, storages, abandoned buildings, and old and abandoned cars. They're also very quiet and calm. They will not attack you for simply stepping into their habitat. They wait until they're attacked before they strike. They are known by the scientific name Loxus Lakes Reclusa. There is only one species recorded of them. They are usually brown. 
The sting from a brown recluse spider may not be deadly, but they're dangerous all the same. Their venom of a brown recluse's sting contains neurotoxic properties. This can kill nerve endings, making you unaware that you've been bitten. In severe cases, the bites emerge into body disfiguring wounds. They can be found in a number of states in the United States like Texas, Chicago, Ohio, and so on. Due to the presence of necrotic properties in their venom, you may not notice the bite until hours later as the symptoms are delayed. However, you may develop a burning or itching sensation around the bite area when the venom fades off. You may notice black blisters, headaches, fevers, nausea, or vomiting. Number 8. Bed Bugs The Household Menace these tiny nocturnal insects have caused human sleepless nights and terrible bite wounds. They're so small that they're not easily noticeable unless you look really closely. They hit under sheets and in small wall holes. They can also flood corners of your bed stands. They're transmitted when someone whose clothes are infested with bed bugs sits on your bed. Bed bugs infestation is not a sign of bad hygiene. Anyone can suffer from bed bug infestation. It is easily transmittable as already stated. They can become a nuisance in the home and usually require professional help to get rid of them. They belong to the Simicidae family and there are around 75 specials of them. Like lice, they feed on the blood of their host. Their sting is really painful and can itch for a long time. We already mentioned that bed bugs can cause you sleepless nights but it's deeper than that. Due to sleep deprivation from bed bugs infestation, accidents can happen. It also leads to stress, headaches, rashes, redness around the bite area, and allergic reactions. They can cause damage to home furniture too. They can stain sofas, mattresses, walls, and carpets with blood in their droppings. Number 7. Arizona Bark Scorpion This scorpion has a very lethal sting. It belongs to the Centroidus exulcata family. It can grow up to about 2 inches long. It is found in areas like northwestern Mexico and Sonoran Desert in the southwestern United States. The nocturnal insect traps enough water in several layers of wax so they can suffer in such harshly dry environments like a desert. Unlike other scorpions, this scorpion does not burrow, but can be found under rocks, tree trunks, and under anything that's dark and dry. They have been found in homes from time to time, but it is rare. However, they're known to frequent areas where cottonwood or sycamore groves can be found. They feed on spiders, moths, beetles, and cockroaches. However, they can attack bigger animals like humans when disturbed. The effects of the sting from the Arizona bark scorpion can last for a day or three. It becomes very serious that immediate medical attention becomes advisable. Victims will feel headache, fever, nausea, shortness of breath, and vomiting, especially in adults. Their venom contains neurotoxin that cause numbness in the bite area that it can last for days. If medical attention is not given immediately, it can also cause skin ulcers that can become severe. There are antivenoms available for stings from scorpions like the Arizona bark scorpion. Number 6. Lonomia obliqua This is another moth famous for its aggressiveness in its larvae stage. It is the most venomous larva to ever exist in the world. It is mostly found in southwestern America. Their body is covered by urticating bristles that inject a possibly deadly venom. It typically has multiple legs like any caterpillar. This larva has caused many human deaths in Brazil. That's how dangerous it is. It hit the area of Rio Grande de Sul so bad that it caused several victims to show up in the hospital showing the same symptoms. The venom is very deadly as it contains the anti-clotting agent that stops the victim's ability to stop bleeding. This anti-clotting agent could detach to another protein of the body's cells and cause them to leak as blood is unable to clot. This agent is called disseminated intravascular coagulation and consumptive coagulopathy. They are found in rainforests and generally woody areas. When you're bitten by a Lenomia obliqua, you'll feel internal abdominal distress, allergic reactions, fever, burning around the bite area, vomiting, and a hemorrhagic disease. The venom is so deadly that it can cause kidney injury. However, this does not mean that a bite for the Lenomia obliqua larva means death is sentenced. Medical experts advise the use of antifibronolytics. Simple first aid treatment can be applied to lessen the loss of blood before the victim is taken to the hospital. Number 5. Tarantula Spider This species of spider is notable for its large size. They are the largest spiders on Earth. They can grow from 7 to 10 centimeters long and even 30 centimeters. There are around 850 species of these awesome arachnids. They are mostly found in forest areas and can be found in both southern and northern America. They come in a variety of colors. Due to their size, they are always mistaken as a deadly insect bug that's not the case. These days, a large number of their species are kept home as pets. This is also because of their unique colorful looks. 
They are nocturnal insects, so they only roam about at night. They prefer dry and warm areas, so they're popular in states like California, Texas, and California. They hunt down their prey rather than to set web traps for them. They burrow into the ground where they live. If not in the ground, they can be found in attics, abandoned boxes, and so on. They sense their prey and predators through vibrations because they have really bad eyesight. They chase down grasshoppers, caterpillars, birds, and even rodents like lizards, bags, frogs. Thanks to their height, they can even hunt down snakes. They inject venom into their prey, except humans. On humans, a tarantula bite is mostly harmless. It is usually a dry bite without venom. It may induce breathing difficulty, fever, rashes, swelling at the bite site, itchiness, puffy eyelids, nausea, and vomiting. It never leads to death, and some of these symptoms fade away within minutes. Number 4. Africanized Bee Here's an insect with a unique name and unique behavior. They were formed when an African bee mated with a Southern American bee. The result was a similar looking bee, but one smaller than the originals. However, this bee may seem small, but it has twice the strength of both parents. The honeybee is known for its aggressive nature. Unlike other bees, it can chase intruder for up to a mile and they can chase their victim in groups. This is why it is called the killer bee. Although its sting is not more dangerous than other bees, it is still advisable to avoid areas that may house these bees. They are found in awkward locations like triers, crates, boxes, water meter boxes, tree limbs, utility poles, junk piles, holes in the ground, mailboxes, overturned flower pots, and empty cars. These unthinkable locations allow unsuspecting animals and humans to fall victims to attacks from this bee. A sting from this Africanized bee is not deadly. It can cause symptoms like swelling, warmth, redness at the sting site, pain, and itching. These symptoms can last for hours but soon wear off. In severe cases, it may take days before the effects wear off. Number 3. Horseflies This insect earned its name for its notoriety of attacking horses and other mammals. They are usually large and fly for long hours in the sunlight. They are inactive at night. They feed on the blood of their prey and it is the female horsefly that does the biting. The protein in the blood is used to produce eggs by the female. The males have a weak mouth so they are unable to suck blood. Instead what they do is feed on nectar and plants. They are also known to pursue their prey for long lengths and they are very fast and fast as horses. The effects of a horsefly sting on animals is more severe than on humans. In humans, the bite appears like a small cut, torn than a puncture. It may cause redness, swelling, and excruciating pain. In animals, the case is very different. A horsefly can transmit diseases from one livestock to another through its bites. This causes an outbreak of blood-borne diseases among cattle and can reduce the number of livestock one has. Number 2. Wheel Bugs also called the assassin bug, the wheel bug is a very fast predator. It is known to attack insects twice its size. They're typically found in leafy areas. They possess a camouflage that helps them hide as they can be very shy. They move about during the day, but may explore illuminated areas by night. They're considered very beneficial to humans as they hunt down pests. They grow to 1.5 inches long in their adult stages. They do not instinctively attack humans, instead they only attack when they are provoked. The bite of a wheel bug will cause labored breathing, itchiness, generalized swelling, and in some people, allergic reactions. These effects wear off with time but can be treated and are not fatal at all. Number 1. Scolopendra gigantea Also called the Peruvian giant yellow leg centipede or Amazonian giant centipede, the Scolopendra gigantea is the biggest centipede in the world. It is native to South America and the South Caribbean. It can grow up to 30 centimeters which amounts to 12 inches. It feeds on larger insects than it and mammals, amphibians, and reptiles. Talk about an outgoing centipede, as a long tail which uses it to sting its victims. It will typically attack anything that it can overpower and kill. Only one human death has been recorded from a Peruvian giant's venom. A sting from the Peruvian giant can cause localized swelling, itching, pain, and a burning sensation. They are in turn hunted down by bigger snakes, birds, lizards, mammals, and big spiders. They are found in tropical forests. They are nocturnal insects. They avoid lights and can be found in moist and slightly illuminated areas. They do not venture near your home, so there's no chance of running into them in your home. However, if you live in or near tropical areas, you should not be surprised to see a Peruvian giant. They do not attack humans first unless they're provoked. This has been a long and emotional list of insects that pose a potential threat to humans. Do you know any insect we skipped that should be there? Have you been bitten by one of them in the past? Let us know in the comments down below. You should check out our other cool stuff showing up on our screen right now. See you next time!